Hey friends, it's Melanie and I wanted to do a little bit of a different style of video for you guys tonight. Um, I have been thinking about this all day and I wasn't really sure how to talk about this, but um, I just wanted to tell you what was on my heart. So in general, today was a hard day. It was a hard day as a mom. It was a hard day, <clears throat> excuse me, as a wife, as a friend, um, as a sister. <clears throat> it was just, it was just a hard day. And I know that we all have those days. Um, we just do. That's part of life, right? And I know that we hear a lot of people say, you know, fake it till you make it. And in some ways, I agree with that. Um, not in very many ways, but I think the the only time I really agree with that saying is, you know, fake it as far as, you know, when you really need to be um, diligent about working out, but you wake up and you're tired or you have a lot going on. Um, sometimes you just need to just do it. Just do it anyway. Fake it and, you know, it, for me personally, about five or ten minutes into a workout, I usually am a lot more motivated to continue. And when I'm finished, I feel great. I feel amazing and so happy that I did it. I think everyone is like that. Um, but what other areas? Um, sometimes at work, I know that there were times that I had to fake it. I wasn't, I just was not in the mood to deal with people. <laughs> And um, sometimes you just have to fake it. You gotta do it anyway, you know? And usually, if I would just put in a little bit of fake effort for a little while, I would start to feel better. And um, then I was okay. But I think that it's important for me that you guys know that I don't believe in being a fake person. Um, I'm gonna pull up this thing that I saw on Facebook. It's been a, at least a week ago. Um, <clears throat> and you guys might remember that I just finished a book by Darren Hardy called The Compound Effect. And this is actually a quote from, from him. It says, fake it till you make it. Please don't. Be real, be transparent, be authentic, and be yourself. And that is what I strive for each and every day of my life. I want to be authentic. I want to be genuine. I want for people to feel like they know me. Um, I want to be transparent. I don't want to be someone that is fake. You know, I just feel like, what is the point of that? What, what is the point? What, what is the reason for you to be fake? What good does it do? Um, I think that we see and this is going to be more specific to moms or to women um, because I can only speak as a, a mom or a woman. Um, you know, we see all these women that we feel like they're perfect and their lives are perfect and their hair is perfect and their kids are perfect and their husband's perfect. And it is so intimidating. It's discouraging. It makes us feel you know, like we have to compete. And then when we can't keep up, then we feel um, defeated. And it's just, none of those words are good. None of those feelings are good. And so it has always been my goal, um, well, it's been my goal for the past several years to be real. I am not perfect. My house is not perfect. My kids are amazing, but they're not perfect. Um, my husband is not perfect. Our marriage is not perfect. Um, there's not a single area in my life that I am perfect or that I have it all together. You know, I love to organize, but I promise you there are closets and areas in my house that are not even close to being organized. Um, you know, I, I try really hard to be on top of things and to be efficient and productive, but there are days when I want to sit on my couch and watch YouTube or friends all day and do nothing else. Granted, that's not an option for me because I have four little people who depend on me, but 
I do have days when that is what I want to do. You know, today is one of those days that I could have easily just given up and said, forget it, I don't want to do this day anymore. It's too hard. But, you know, today was one of those days that I just had to keep pushing through. And I'm sharing this with you guys because I want you to know that it's okay to be real. It's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to be yourself. You know, it's actually better to be all of those things. I know, um, I have one friend who, from the outside, her life, it, it, it's ridiculous. It looks perfect. She looks perfect. But I know because she is one of my closest friends that it's not, you know, people don't see the, the flaws or the, um, the imperfections in her life. And that's intimidating. And I learned a long time ago that people will relate to you if they know that you are real. People will feel like they have something in common with you if, you know, if you're not perfect. Because they're not perfect either. So, I feel like I'm kind of rambling on and on about the same thing, but I just wanted to let you guys know that today was a hard day, and I'm not going to pretend like it wasn't. <clears throat> um, on, my, on my channel, I'm going to be real. Um, there are going to be days that I look like this. <laughs> there are going to be days that you're going to see me without makeup, days that I do not fix my hair, days that you will probably see me in my sweats, you will probably see me in my pajamas, but you will also see me on days when I put on makeup and I fix my hair and I feel good and it's a good day and my kids are well behaved and they're listening and they're saying yes ma'am and no ma'am and they're, you know, their rooms are clean and my house is clean and there are a lot of channels that I've seen on YouTube, a lot of um, vloggers or YouTubers that they don't show you the imperfect parts of their house. Um, that's just not going to be me. You know, I'm going to be real with you guys. I hope that that's okay. I hope that y'all are okay with me being real and keeping my life real. Um, there are parts of my life that I won't share, obviously. I mean, that's just, of course, no one's going to share everything. Um, but I do share quite a bit with you guys. And this is me. Imperfect, flawed, sometimes cranky, sometimes sad, me. So I did want to say though that I am so incredibly humbled and just amazingly blessed to have each and every one of you be, one of, be a viewer on my channel. I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful. You know, I feel better when I have this um, as a creative outlet for me. I'm not a very creative person as in the way of I'm not crafty or, um, you know, I don't sew and I don't knit and I don't paint and I don't draw and this is kind of my only creative thing. And I'm glad that I get to share it with you guys. I love reading your comments. You guys are so supportive. You're so creative. You know, you're just, I love sharing with you all. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Thank you for allowing me to be real and to just be me. It means the world to me that, that me is what you guys want to see. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And, um, you know, yeah, today was a hard day, but tomorrow is my husband's birthday and we are going to vlog. So we will be um, filming a day in the life style vlog tomorrow. And we have a couple of things planned. Um, I get to go to the grocery store with four kids. <laughs> but I really didn't think that it would be too much fun to make him stay home with the kids on his birthday. So yeah, I think he's gonna go play golf. That I obviously won't be able to vlog since he won't be with me. But um, yeah, tomorrow's a new day, a special day, a day to celebrate. So tomorrow, we get to start all over again. Even when we have bad days like today, we get to go to bed knowing that tomorrow is a chance to start over and start fresh and make it a better day. 
So thank you guys for letting me share. Thank you for letting me vent. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. I appreciate you all so much. Good night, guys.